How's it going guys? We're back. We're back out on the big bikes. We're heading west again today. It's a beautiful Saturday. There's a few uh, little landmarks and stuff that we're going to check out today. Big, big 500k loop. We're going to try and get smashed out. I don't know how much we're going to get done, but um, come along for the ride and uh, we'll see. We'll see what trouble we get into today. So we've got sunshine. We've got a thermos full of hot coffee. We've got a dodgy Josh Google map and we've got a tank full of gas. Let's go. Google map fail number one. It's telling us to go through there. Private property. Good one. Anyway, there'll be another way to get around. Alright, we found another track through a gate that does not say private property or keep out or you will be shot or anything like that. So, let's see what happens. on our map here if you can see there but with these awesome new Nishua carbon enduro adventure helmets well we don't have the same mic setup so I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that through the Bluetooth or not probably not <laughs> this isn't looking real promising, is it? <laughs> A big pile of sand. <laughs> there is no truck. Fucking hell. It's a pretty cool track, but if it is going somewhere <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a creek down there anyway as we cruise along this dark dingy track. I just want to give a quick shout out to Pete from Hippo Drones for putting us onto these Nishua helmets. They're bloody awesome so far, loving it. And I found out yesterday that um, NAB1 uses the same helmet too, so yeah. You know, you're onto a good thing when it's something that NERB uses. There's a wicked um, like waterfall down there. Like I don't think it'd be any water in it at the moment, but it's like all rocks down that gully there. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go and have a quick look at that. Because you know we've got heaps of time. <laughs> Did you got the crash bars on there? All good. <laughs> it's like a big old rock pool down here. It's pretty cool. Alright, up this little hill we go. Yeah, this is pretty hectic, eh? Go Moto Chick, go 390. Yoo -hoo. 
Actually not a bad view up here. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> Stock tires, hill climb. Keep going if you want. Let's see another rest. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop now. <laughs> Not right there. <laughs> Maybe you should have stopped here for a rest. Adventure hill climbing. <laughs> Do without these rocks. Yeah. <clears throat> be going, keep it going. Son of a bitch. You got it. Not supposed to turn into real adventure until the end of the ride. Not right at the start. <laughs> Alright, so we don't know where the hell we are. It's an hour and a half later since we left. <laughs> We've gotten not very far. Done 43 k's. It's supposed to be a fire break that's marked on the map up ahead somewhere. Definitely up on a high ridge line here. Yeah. This looks very slippery. It's not too bad. Mm. Uh, it's actually pretty dry for now. <laughs> Launching the Tenere. Back onto a bit more of a main track now, making a bit better time. Sort of heading back towards our original mapped out route. We're back on the blue line guys, woohoo! The original plan, back in action. <laughs> See how long that lasts. So the blue line wants to take us off this nice track and into that shit. <laughs> See what happens. Tell you what, we never ever would have come here and found these tracks if we didn't get these bikes. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Big log across the track. Do you want me to go first or are you going to be right? You can brave it. Your bike will be easier to pull out if it gets stuck. Yeah, Alright, little check around the log looks doable. <laughs> Too late, I'm already done. Now we're adventuring. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, so the blue line, Josh's dodgy map wants us to go through there, but that track is well overgrown and there's spider webs and shit, so we're just going to stay on the one that we're on and hope that that goes in the right direction eventually. Logs across the track, the scourge of the big bike. Testing out the AXP bash plate. Slips nicely though. Beautiful. soft. Well, you gotta see how I go getting up the bank and around this dang log. Are you right? Hold on. You're right. No more logs, please. We need to get to the dam. Oh, yes. We're on a track. We're on a main track. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're trying to get back on course and we're back onto a, another dodgy bloody track. Seems to be the flavour of the day. Ow. Dodgy tracks are us. That's how we roll all the time. And this hasn't been used for a while. <laughs> Got a collection of sticks. <laughs> so sort we're of heading back towards the blue line again. Whether or not that's a good thing, I don't know. <laughs> She'll be coming down the mountain when she bloody comes. If any of you guys are even remotely considering getting adventure bikes, I highly recommend it. Eh? It's so cool. Like it's it's just so different to the the normal little bike rides that we do. It's the same but different. It's, it's just it's just the awesomeness of getting out into some different country without having to worry about fuel range too much and. 
all that shit. <laughs> it's getting a little bit hairy, isn't it? <laughs> that eight. Bit of open country. Blue line is dead ahead. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Rocky crossing. You got this. Shit, down. Hang on to her. Go. Yeah. There isn't even a track here. <laughs> what is this? All right, we're back on a track. The blue line track of death. <laughs> This is pretty special, she reckons. Special. <laughs> pretty cool, right? I'm gonna get the drone up and have a bit of a look at the damn wall. That's what I reckon. Well, it says down here there's a track. <laughs> Getting dark now. <laughs> so just to make it even better, it's now pissing down rain. 